This bill would allow patients to access abortion care later in pregnancy only when it is deemed necessary in the professional judgment of a licensed medical doctor or osteopathic physician and meets the standards of care applicable to obstetricians. This bill is about those rare circumstances, um, horrible, heartbreaking, awful circumstances that are just an absolute nightmare. When I think of who needs this bill, I think of Mainers like Dana, Zoe, and some of the women in my life who were so excited to become parents, but learned that something was terribly, terribly wrong with their pregnancy. I do know that if such a difficult decision would have to be made by one of my daughters, or in the future, one of my granddaughters, I would feel that it would not be my decision to make. Not as a father, not as a grandfather, and certainly not as a state senator standing before you today. I have had the honor of delivering hundreds of babies in my time as a nurse midwife and a labor and delivery nurse. Patients want options and true compassion provides that opportunity. This bill for me is a form of compassion. The decision to terminate a pregnancy is deeply personal and the abortions we are talking about with this bill are medically complicated. Women like myself were disproportionately affected by lack of access to health care services, yes, even here in Maine. This legislation would ensure that all women in Maine have the fundamental right to access the care they need. I've sat with friends as they made the difficult decision to end an unexpected pregnancy. I've also sat with my friends as they decided to keep an unexpected pregnancy. But in all of these situations, these decisions were not about me. They were about being there for the person who was making them. When facing especially difficult decisions, a patient might consult their trusted primary care physician, a specialist, midwife, their spouse, even their religious leader. They should not also need to consult their local politician.